Hey everybody, what's happening? Son of a Silver Stacker here. In today's numismatic news and information for the 26th day of March, 2021, going to jump over here to Jam Bullion and look at the live spot prices. Gold is pretty much flat, up $1.30. Silver is up $0.15. Cents. Platinum is up $5.16. And Palladium is up $16.05. And they still don't have copper on here yet, but that's okay. I'll wait. I'll be patient. So the next thing I wanted to do is go to coinnews.net, and they have the United States Mint sales figure. And this article was published just yesterday. So, And it's by Mike Unser. And I'll leave a link in the description below. It says the United States Mint's latest sales figure highlight that no new products launched last week as gains were relatively lackadaisical, aside from a couple of products like the 2021 proof set and the 2021 congratulations set now if you watch silver wolverine's video uh you know that these were available again for a short period of time um and they sold quite a few too so let's go over the numbers and isn't she a beauty no doubt about it um the annual proof set topped 200,000 with its near 9,000 weekly increase making it the best weekly seller and it is a beauty too those two quarters there and when you compare the two, the America the Beautiful, to the original design on General George Washington crossing the Delaware Quarter, you really can notice that it is a much larger uh, image of Washington on the General George Washington crossing the Delaware Quarter. It is really cool. It is a beautiful piece. So, second place went to the Congratulations set, advancing by more than 4,000 units. It's incredible. I wonder if that did anything to the price on eBay. I mean, because it was a little bit more available, um, you would think the supply and demand thing would happen. But anyway, we'll talk about that in a minute. This set with its classic 2021 W Proof Silver Eagle Type 1 quickly became unavailable following its February 11th release. Until this round, it had no reported gains since the mint sales report ending February 14th. In fact, there were a couple of instances where the set's sales had been reduced. Intrigue. Okay, it says there are three product options containing the 2021 West Point Proof Silver Eagle Type 1. Their sales, along with their latest gains, include the individually sold Proof Silver Eagle, down 127 units to 297.78. That's incredible. So it went down to 127 units to 297,078. However, the congratulations set went up 4,384 pieces to just three pieces shy of a 40,000 total. Um, wow. <laughs> so it's basically at 7.30 or 7.31 in the morning, Eastern time, you're going to, you know, are you looking at the um, congratulations set to come on sale? Or are you looking at the gold pieces, the gold proofs that came out from West Point Mint? So that's pretty interesting. Where do you spend your time and resources? So check this out. The 40 coin bulk option, it went up eight units. Okay. And those have 40 coins in them. Eight units. Wow. <laughs> Where'd those come from? Uh, altogether, proof Silver Eagle sales climbed 4,577 from a week earlier to 364,515 units. Now, this is the weekly U.S. Mint top sellers, the top 10. Here's a listing of the U.S. Mint's most popular numismatic products for the week ending March 21. 2021 proof set up 8,993 units to 206,542 pieces. The congratulations set up 4,384 4, pieces to 39,997. This is pretty cool. Check this out. This is showing some really nice, robust sales. Um, the 2021 uh, Philadelphia minted proof Krista McAuliffe silver dollar up 1,948 pieces to just over 27,000. So that's pretty cool. Now check this out. The top five, number four and five are an American intervention uh, dollar proof sets. So the 2019 came in at four, adding 1,216 units to 126,025. The 2020 American innovation dollar proof set added 921 pieces to a total of 87,244. That's incredible. Um, and you know, there isn't really much going on at the Mint. I think the next item drops next week. That would be the, no, it's actually what, two weeks from today? On the 8th? Okay, so it would be two weeks from yesterday. 
You know what else comes out on the 8th of April? That new quarter design in circulation. So that should be pretty interesting. I'm sure those sales are going to go. I'm sure those are going to be very expensive on, on eBay because that's the only place you'll be able to get them or at your bank. So I hope that you uh, know one of the tellers who can keep a box of those aside for you because um, you start better start getting them donuts and coffee. <laughs> so going back to number six position because we already talked about number five. This is the 2021 Philadelphia minted uncirculated Krista McAuliffe silver dollar up 569 pieces to 9,163. Number seven, check this out. This was a shocker. 2020 Kennedy 200 coin bag up 522 pieces. Now you can't get the rolls for this, but you can get that bag and that's incredible. Then the 2021 birth set up 412 pieces to 11,931. Then nine here is, and 10 are the, um, 2020 Bush metal set up 399 pieces to 9491. And last but not least, in 10th spot is 2020 Philadelphia minted George H.W. Bush, Bush presidential $1 coin, 25 coin roll up 364 pieces to uh, 15,099. So, in the latest report, the United States Mint published sales data for 265 numismatic products. And that doesn't mean there's 265 products available, that's for sure. 79 of them outperformed their prior weekly gains compared to 72 previously. Four product increase, four products increased by more than 1,000 units against two in the prior sales report. In addition, 29 products saw their sales reduced compared to 28 previously. The reductions range from 1 to 127, with the latter tag to the classic uh, 2021 West Point Proof American Silver Eagle Type 1. Now here's the numbers below are the tables showing the latest available sales for U.S. Mint Numismatic products. The sales period covers from March 15 to March 21. Products with an asterisk are no longer available or had no reported sales. Here we go. So the Krista McAuliffe, that's pretty good. Up 6 and 7% there. Not bad at all. Then the law enforcement uh, commemorative coins, those are showing some um, action. But look at this. The 2021 three coin proof set actually has a reduction of 53 pieces. That's very interesting. Very. Why would they do that so early? And it's, um, I don't even think it's dropped yet, right? Hasn't it? Not sure. I don't think it's dropped yet. <laughs> um, comes out in May, I believe. So the 2020 Basketball Hall of Fame commemorative coins, um, somebody was saying that was a bust. Um, I like mine. Uh, I like that it's curved. Um, the colorized are really interesting. Um, and they, when they do sell uh, on eBay, they're usually signed by like an NBA great Hall of Famer. So you don't know if it's the coin that's the value or the signature of the NBA Hall of Famer that's the valuable thing. So take it well, with a grain of sand right there, or with a grain of salt rather. 2020 Women's Suffrage Centennial products. Look at that. Nothing going on there. The American Liberty products. Look at that. Um, 2019 West Point Mint $100 American Liberty Gold Coin reduced 47 pieces. Look at this, though. This one's selling okay, 247 un um, units. And that's the 2018 West Point Minted $10 American Liberty Gold Coin. And then another gold coin, 2017 West Point Minted $100 American Liberty Gold Coin, reduction of 60 coins. So, bam. So we're seeing a lot of reductions here. Even with the anniversary of Mayflower products, there's mild reductions there. One, two, and one. Uh, next one is the end of World War II. I tell you, people would love to get these still if you had them available. Just if there was one. Um, clad proof sets. Now, here's the sales of these. They're, um, and this is just the first, what, until March 21st, they said. So if we're already in March, these are, gonna, these are selling hot. These are so hot right now. It's incredible. So if that's one quarter of sales, okay, we're going to see this in the 800,000 if this keeps up. And I, I have never, I don't think I've seen 800,000 in the last eight years, nine years, maybe, maybe ever. I can't, I'm drawing a blank. But if somebody could leave a description, um, or leave a comment in the description, what was the largest mintage for a proof set uh, in a year? Um, I think that would be awesome because I think we're going to break that this year if this keeps up. Um, next thing I wanted to share with you was the silver proof sets. Ours is coming out soon. It's going to be expensive. It's $105 still, and I'm not sure they're going to actually um, drop the price. But if they do, that would be a nice gift to all of us. 
So now this is the uncirculated set. We haven't seen that yet. And look at this. Remember there was supposed to be 213? These keep dropping every single week. It's incredible. Are they damaged? What's going on over there? Kids coin sets. Um, showing some life over here. That's pretty good. That's the 2019 youth coin and currency set. And the 2019 explore and discover coin set. I'm going to hurry this up right now because I really wanted to get to the quarters and I only have like five minutes left. Because so much data. It's incredible. Um, ouch. <laughs> anyway, um, uncirculated silver eagles. Proof American Eagle gold coins, gold coins, and right here. So, nope, that's not them. Presidential. Okay, here we go. The American Intervention Dollars, those are having some strong sales from South Carolina. Um, you can't get any more of the American Intervention Dollars from Maryland. Those are all sold out. Uh, the Massachusetts is sold out. You still can get some of the Connecticut and the Georgia. But check this out. This is really interesting. I wanted to show you all. Um, Nope, 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 nope. Here we go. America, the beautiful quarters. Here we are, man. It took forever to get here. Sorry about that. And bam. Okay, so we already know. Look at this. They're reducing the Tuskegee Airmen quarters. Not sure why that's going on. But I wanted to show you this. Oops. Okay, so not the quarters, but that's okay. This is a congratulations set. And even though they did add almost 4,000 units, it looks like it's not having any kind of effect on... The price of these coins at all so these are still have strong sales the 2021 congratulations set in fact i just set mine to be graded and it was just acknowledged yesterday by ngc okay next thing we're going to do is look at this this is the 2021 tuskegee airman pnd mint um only philadelphia and denver mint box only 79 dollars sold march 18. this one's 79 and it has the pnd now look at this you add the s it goes up by a hundred dollars okay you add the s it goes up you add the s it goes up this sales from march 6th so you can tell there's something going on here so it goes march 3rd 122 pds 119 119 119 and then 119 and then they get to march 6th and bam they go from 119 to 150 or higher in the sales now that's if you have the S. You add that S, and it's an extra $100 there. This is the Tuskegee Airmen S roll, and it sold March 25th. $108 just for the S roll. You add the S, it's an extra $100, folks. So that S roll, why is it so amazingly expensive? Well, check this out. This is from, I'm going to have to go to 2020, I think, was the first year. No, I'm not. Um, 2012 was the first year, my bad. In 2012, the United States Mint began minting circulated S. Here it is right here. Here's where it starts. 2012 S minted uncirculated coins. So these are business strikes, and that's what they qualify for. And look at the mintage. is 1.679 million. That's less than the West Point minted quarters. So if you go to the other mintage numbers from last year, you'll see the other s mints and these are all to be determined look at there's the west point is two million but if you go to the sales for these particular coins the the tall grass prairie quarters are strong and you can still get some of these actually um the three coal uh the three roll set is available still for the um salt river bay it's not for the 40 coin roll but it is for the three and i'm telling you these s rolls are where it's at and you can still get it for marsh billings you can still get the uh, the S roll for tall grass. And look at the Marsh Billings in tall grass here. Uh, Marsh Billings here, not a huge mintage, but look at this tall grass, 101 million. So that was the least minted quarter for 2020. And you still can get it in, I think, all of these formats. Me personally, um, I get the PD and the S roll, and then an additional S roll. These are a, a super low mintage. And if you were to try and pick these up, um, look at this S roll from March 23rd sale, uh, America the Beautiful, American Samoa, $200. This is the last sale for this was in January. So um, I love my quarters <laughs> and they're worth something, you know, especially those S rolls. It's really incredible. But listen, I think I'm running out of time here. I think I talked your ear off and I've talked my time out. And I want to thank you all for watching today. 
Don't forget those S quarters, folks. Thanks for dropping by. Don't forget to hit that like button. And if you like what you're here and see, subscribe to the channel. It's free. Son of a Silver Stacker, out.